Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a slightly different video. As you can probably tell by the title, um, I'm looking to do a bit of a summer series. So today's video is going to be your eyebrows. So the main reason I thought I would do this video is when it comes to summer, I don't know about anyone else, but I like to wear the most minimal makeup, I like to have a really nice hairstyle, that you know looks good with sunglasses on your top of your head you know it's part of the accessories basically what i would wear for summer so i really really like having dark eyebrows they look filled in they kind of look microbladed kind of like the hd brows i'll pop two pictures up here just to give you an idea what they look like and instead do it for a lot lot cheaper um, so if you are excited for this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already i'd love for you to subscribe and join the I really got a name for us all yet um at the moment it can be just part of my channel <laughs> and also don't forget to leave any comments for any future videos that you would like to see either part of the summer series or any other beauty hacks or anything like that don't forget to leave some comments down below and let's get to the video so as you can see at the moment i am completely barefaced i haven't got any makeup on all i've got is my eyelashes but they are eyelash extensions so i can't take them off i'm going to show you how to do a bit of a hack with your eyebrows um so first of all i always just put a hairband on just to keep your hair all out of the way i use this so this is what i use and i think it's allure i think it's how you say it might be wrong knowing me it's completely wrong and i get the color in black so you can see by my hair i am not naturally blonde but i have my hair blonde i keep my root which is just a dark brown and with my eyebrows as well they are i'd say a light brown and i just like to make my eyebrows a bit darker and looks as if i've filled them in when i haven't filled them in so what you get in the kit this is quite an old it's not old um, i've used it a few times so you get your little basin bit and I normally put all the pits in here then you get the activator which is in a little bottle like this like that and then you also then get the color cream as well which as you can see this one it is in black and then you also get a little one I don't really know what you call it I always call it like an eyelash brush but it's not an eyelash brush so it's an eyebrow brush and then there was like a little wand that you got with it like the applicator which you can see if it decides to focus for me it basically looks like that one there the first thing you need to do is i'll show you move the camera around just to show you so all you do is you put a tiny bit of the cream in and then here is your activator then literally you just drop in about five drops basically all you need to do is I'll just use the other end is you just mix it round and because I use the color black I think you can leave it on for up to 15 minutes just because I'm using the color black I can always add more on but I can't take it off what I normally do is put it on take it off and then I'll potentially re put it on if I feel like it needs some more which it says that you can do and I would say normally for me this lasts up to about four weeks every every month I'd say I probably do this and the whole pack itself I think is about ten pound um from like your local drugstore and things like that and to be completely honest it's really really good it lasts for ages I don't know how it says up to 12 applications so if you do it once a month this will last you a year I mean it says it's meant to last up to six months but I've been using it and it's all been fine so what I'm going to firstly do is I just need to pluck my eyebrows they aren't horrifically bad as you can probably see if I zoom in there's just a few little hairs that just need picking up so I'm just going to go ahead and do that um, and then we can put the application on after about 5,000 years the eyebrows are now all plucked I haven't shaped them or anything as in like brushed them back into place as you can see they are nice and red at the moment um, what I will do is once I've done all the application for my eyebrows 
and cleaned them off I will just use some Dipro Base Cream and I'll tell you what this stuff is a lifesaver I use it on my face I use it on my legs once I've shaved my legs I put it up everywhere and it's really really good I have got really sensitive skin and that seems to be the best thing for me to use without any irritation or dry skin or anything like that so that will just soothe it once I've done and get rid of all the redness so to start off with um, all I'm just going to do is just brush my eyebrows sort of into place just so I can see how they are so as you can see it's not as bad as it used to be but I've got a slight little gap here and a little bit under here and this one isn't as long as this eyebrow and long story short um, I used to get my eyebrows waxed and they completely screwed them up basically what they've done is this eyebrow stayed absolutely fine and this one they made it really really thin they um, trimmed it down and everything and I didn't even have the heart to tell them I ended up getting one of my friends the following week to call up and complain for me um, I then came back in they tinted them for me and gave me a free palette um, just to like fill in the gap while the hairs were growing back and that was about four years ago at least so it's taking its time to grow back which is really annoying and then since then I have just done my own eyebrows because I'm too scared basically and then when it comes to applicating this on, obviously everyone's each their own, they all have an idea of how they like their eyebrows. Um, I do prefer it where this bit's all darker than the front of it. So what I'll do, when I put it on, after a couple of minutes I'll take it off the front bit and then leave it to carry on so it gives like the ombre effect basically. I put a bit onto the brush and you start to just brush it through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one eyebrow and then I'm going to show you the difference and then I'll do the other one and show you the overall effect this. Lovely. Um, the other trick you can do as well is what um, I have done before is you can put some like Vaseline around your eyebrow where you don't want the colour to stick so then when you go to wash it off it just washes straight off and it doesn't stain your skin which is a very clever trick and the other handy bit with this as well it's like I said um, earlier on about my eyebrow story this picks up some baby hairs for me so at least I can have a bit more of a field and eyebrow and then all I'm doing now is just now I've put the dye on is I'm just going around the edges to pick up any bits that I know I definitely don't want dyed because I was it does like I said it does stain your skin it doesn't stay on forever but it can just be a bit annoying so as you can see that is one eyebrow and that is the other and I'm now just going to leave that on for about 10 minutes and I'll show you the difference and then I'll do this eyebrow and show you it all together. So it's now been about 5 minutes so I'm just going to take the bit off at the front. I mean it's not directly off but as you can see already, like, look. I mean there's still a bit of dye on there but look at that colour difference already like it's just so much nicer and I feel like it just gives a whole just saves an extra job in the morning basically like in the summer I love having eyelash extensions as you can see I mean they do need filling in and sorting out really but I love having eyelash extensions I love dyeing my eyebrows just because it's 10 times easier it's just you haven't got as much to do in the morning so if you're like me who has to get up for work I just don't want to be doing that and then it'll get all hot and sweaty and things like that and if you go out for the day and things like that I don't want it where I'm plastered all in makeup um, I want it so I, I feel confident in myself so that is this look so I will catch up for you in a couple of minutes well it'll be straight away from you so I'll catch up for you in a sec to take this off and we can see the final look. So you'll see it in 
three, two, one. Look at that difference. Like, if I turn the light over, there you go. So as you can see, it just looks so much nicer. It looks like I've basically just had it hennaed or filled in or just basically paid 30 or pound to have it done. So that's the that brow. I'm now going to do the exact same on the other eyebrow and I'll show you the overall look. So here we go. So these are my brows, completely natural. So just after the dye. So as you can see, they look a lot more darker. They look a lot more fuller. And to be honest, I could happily go out of them looking like this. The only thing for myself is, just like I said, I've got a tiny little gap there, a little bit underneath here, and this one just needs to be extended a little bit longer. So what I thought I would do is show you what I would do eyebrow-wise. To be honest, this is nearly empty. Um, but I use this, which is just a gel, and it just keeps them all in place. I've got an eyebrow pencil, and this is the Spectrum one. It's Spectrum A17. I use the MAC True Brunette. So I use that and it's just and it's literally just in a little gel form and again I am getting really really low on this so I haven't got a huge amount left and um, so I have to <laughs> wet the brush to like try and get some out and literally all I'll do is just put a little bit in up here just to fill in that gap then literally I'll just correct it with a little bit of concealer and then literally the last thing just to do is like I said there's not a huge amount in here left but it's just handy so you can shape it a bit more because I like like the front of my eyebrow up a little bit so that's mainly all it does just keeps it all up and that my friends is your DIY basically henna HD brows kind of microblading technique and that is the end of my DIY eyebrow henna tattoo hack, I guess. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, don't forget to press subscribe. And if you hit the bell notification, you won't miss any of my uploads because in the next few weeks, you'll also be getting some other DIY hacks, I guess. Um, I'm doing a hairstyle one for the summer and also my fake tanning routine so stay tuned thank you all so so much for watching and i shall see you in next week's video